Hello and welcome to the video. This is one of three videos that are forming part of the motor and prop tips. Now for those of you that fly fixed wing stuff, uh, I'm a massive wing pilot here, you'll know that if you're coming from the multi-rotor part of the hobby, it can be a little bit complicated because uh, there's an awful lot to think about and how do you make your plane fly faster, how do you make it fly for longer, how do you make it easier to launch? Because a lot of wings are launched by just throwing them into the air and some of them are trickier than others. Uh, the good news is, is you're in the right place because this is Marcus. Say hello, Marcus. Hi, I'm me. <laughs> Marcus is the gentleman behind a tool called eCalc. Now there's a free version you can access and that free version will give you a limited set of motors and props and things that you can choose from, but you can uh, create an account on there and then that will give you access to everything. Now, to create a full account on eCalc isn't a free thing. However, Marcus has very kindly offered a five-day free trial for viewers of this video. Now, it is a time trial. I'll put links down below. But by logging in using those links, you can access the tool, all the features for five days. So you can try it out and you can try the stuff that we're about to show in the video. So everything we're about to show on eCalc is using the full version. Now that allows you to put in motor prop ESC combinations and do some very clever stuff, which allows you rather than, which is the way I used to do it, you buy yourself a motor and a prop and you stick it on the model, you take it for a fly and you go, yeah, I could probably go faster or <laughs> yeah, I could probably make that easier to launch and go and try and find another combination that works. eCalc actually lets you plug that all in and find out how it's all gonna work. So today, we are going to answer one of those three questions. So check out the playlist below, I'll put a link, because we're going to answer how to make your plane fly faster, how to make your plane fly for longer, and how to make your plane easier to launch. Now, Marcus, as well, is based in Switzerland, and he owns a radio control store, uh, ships worldwide. So if you are interested in uh, getting hold of radio control stuff, then check out Marcus's store as well. There's a link down below. Definitely need to put that in here because Marcus has been incredibly generous with his time because not only am I making these videos so that you, the audience, can learn some stuff, uh, I'm actually learning every, t every, every time I speak to Marcus. Uh, I learned something. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get into this video about this topic we're going to cover today. So, the first one we're going to talk about is how to make your model fly faster. Uh, and that is actually probably one of the easiest things to do. Now, we've already covered it a little bit in the previous two versions about the tips and tricks for motors and props. And we've had loads of questions about, I have this particular model with this motor and prop set up. How do I make it fly faster? And what's going to be the impact? Uh, and this one, if we're talking about the motor and prop, is pretty straightforward, isn't it, Marcus? Yes. If, if you have already the, the motor and the prop, so then you can uh, play with uh, some param parameters of the drive. One is uh, the pitch, so you don't have to change the motor, you just increase the pitch. This is uh, one option. The other option is more expensive, so you increase the RPM, either by changing the motor with a higher KV or yeah, add one cell more to your battery so you have more voltage. So so those are the two answers really. It's pretty straightforward. We'll jump into eCalc and show you how to calculate that in the tool in a moment. But, so it's two things. You either increase the amount of pitch on the prop. The cool thing is, is the amount of current rises with the same ratio. So if you're pulling 10 amps with uh, the prop that you've already got and you add 20% more pitch onto your propeller, then the current is gonna go up by about 20% as well. So it'll go from 10 to about 12 amps. So you can kind of, you know, just guess what that's going to be. Uh, obviously you need to make sure the ESC is up for it. You need to make sure that your motor is going to be happy with any additional current that has been pulled. And the other way then is to increase the uh, the speed of the rotation of the motor. As Marcus says, either buy a new motor with a higher KV. So maybe it's a 2000 KV motor that you're running. Get yourself a 2400 KV motor with the same battery. Or what I would probably do is go from 3S to 4S and that additional voltage will spin the motor higher 
uh, spin the motor faster and that will give you it so let's jump into eCalc and actually show you that in practice yeah. So here we are in eCalc, although it says Atom RC Dolphin, this is a pretty standard kind of setup for smaller six, 700 millimeter wings that I tend to fly. Uh, so we have a 30 amp ESC, we have an Emax Eco 2306 2400 kV motor spinning a 6x3 inch prop. So let's look at both of those examples. First of all, Marcus, can we look at the impact of what's going to happen if we add a little bit more pitch onto the blade? Yeah, so we have uh, filled up the e-calc with our drive. Then we hit the calculate button. So that's now our current setup with a 6 by 3 inch prop. Then we have 20 amps now currently pulling. And the pitch speed is around 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour. So we increase the pitch from 3 to 4 inch and hit the calculate button. So then we can see here the amp increases by about 20%. The pitch speed increases as well, 228 kilometers or even uh, 80 miles per hour. Fantastic. Now that pitch speed again, just to reiterate, the pitch speed is the speed of uh, the, the the motor and prop. It doesn't take into account things like drag. It doesn't take all that into account. So the actual speed that you will get out the model will be less than that. So just be aware of that. Don't say that because it says 80 miles an hour there, that's what you're going to get. In reality, it will be a little bit different thanks to the characteristics of your model. So let's let's put that back to six by three, Marcus, and let's see what happens if we bump it up from three to four S. Twenty amps. So now we are increasing the battery from three to four S. That means the RPM will increase as well, and this will not be linear. This will be uh, exponential growth in a current. So as we can see here. We jump from 20 amps to 32 amps almost and the pitch speed so the how fast the airflow leaves the blade uh, will go about the same speed as we had by just increasing the pitch so this is a great example of sometimes I, I, you hear different people and you read different things in the forums. This is why this tool is so handy. Uh, I've seen lots of pilots just put a larger battery on a model and uh, overload the ESC and make it get way too hot. You have to be careful. Interestingly, the, the pitch speed that we're getting, which is what we're interested in here, was about the same answer for going from 3S to 4S as it was adding an extra inch on the blade. So one of them would let you keep your ESC and motor. This one would potentially mean we'd have to replace the ESC. So this again is why things like eCalc is handy because you can figure out the best way around to do this particular one. So thank you, Marcus, for that. That's brilliant. So join us in the next two videos. Again, links down below where we're going to talk about efficiency and making your model easier to launch. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.